Okay. Mustafa Abib is my name. A graduate from Lautec Electrical Engineering Department. I studied a full stack development at SQI College of ICT. Currently a full stack developer at International Bureau. I'm also a full stack developer at FreeRent Technology. I'm certain that before the end of today, I am going to be a product manager at one of the fintech companies in Nigeria. I came into SQI 2008, early 2018, so to speak, early 2018. I came in as, as let me just put it as nobody. Uh, I will still talk about the reason why I said as a nobody. Despite the fact that um, I'm, I was a first class student then as at my 400 level stroke 500 level. So my, 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 my educational background in terms of academic was okay. So and me now saying I'm going into, um, into software development, it's actually a word to some people. I resumed at um, SQI, SQI College of ICT and um, Night Flats. So I, that was when I met um, Dr. Adeyemi the first time. I never knew he was the CEO of ICT. Um, I used to SQI College of ICT as I then. I sat at the back looking at this man with his way of, um, let me put it as tutoring or teaching. I was just like, wow, no problem, let's move. So, um, I, with my first day, uh, my first day um, with, with um, Dr. Adeyemi, I think he was the one teaching us JavaScript as a then. I met Adeolo back that same day that I think I'm going to proceed. With my first day of meeting this man, I said I think I'm going to proceed. Adeolo said, it's not yet time for me to decide that I should just still continue. Still have it at the back of your mind that it's still front end because it's not yet time. He said, I'm not yet convinced self. I said, okay, no problem. I proceeded. It was tough at start, 2018. It was tough. Um, by that time, I, I was in 500 level already. And we actually done. We were actually done with our 500 level. But then, um, loud tech issues about strike um, got me still in school. Most of my mates that were together, all of them already left school for home while I'm still in school at SKI College of ICT. I already said it earlier that um, I came into SKI just to learn front-end development tool. But then, in the course of the tutoring, by most of the um, tutors at SKI, I got to know that I have no other choice than to proceed. I proceeded with the back-end development database administration at SKI, all because of the tutoring um, attitude um, impacted by this tutor. There was a time I, 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 I can still recollect very well at Nine Flats. We were given a particular task by Dr. Adeyemi as a den. Actually, he's even um, putting, putting it in instance of general, general terms, even um, with all my lecturers in Lautech, I can actually say that Dr. Adeyemi is still the best tutor I've ever had so far, right from my primary school stage up to I finish. I applied at Keystone Bank, submitting my CV today. I had an interview today and I resumed work the next day. I was so, let me call it full years that God, is this thing real? I had submitted four CVs to, to, uh, to four different companies before my service. None of them even called me for an interview. But just because I wanted to test myself, I'm not yet ready to start anything. I am only testing myself. Before I knew it, the next day I had already started as a front-end developer at Keystone Bank. They demanded for React Native. I did React. But I was like, it is React, it is React, I can do it. I started um, opening my um, React courses, which I did at SQI, which actually gave me motivation that definitely I can do this. I entered Keystone Bank the next day. I was given task to do, which I thought it was a joke, because what they gave me to do was what we started our React class with at SQI. They told me, to create a school portal. I said, is this the test 
for for me to start as a full stack EM as a front end developer here they said yes what i did rather i should have just uh, opened a particular that particular project we've done at SQI and just copy and paste for them but then i intentionally challenged myself i will do this for you in react i will build this for you in angular with the limited time you gave to me which i did when the team lead came to me that the um he wants to see what i have done so far i said i had already pushed to github and i said i had already pushed to iroku i gave him two different links he said why two different links i said one is for angular one is for react he said why angular i said i just provided solution just pick what you want what the man said is i love your case i love the way you approach things personally i smiled because i know this was what part of what i learned at sq high to be bold of yourself you are the one that wants to solve their problem you are the one that wants to help them i was so bold and courageous of myself that day the man said he would love me to start work as at that day which i started i don't i i, I used only two weeks if i could remember two weeks i think because i entered keystone with another motive just to test myself not to start work now the pay was okay but then that was not what i wanted as a then i left keystone bank like two weeks after when i was leaving the man said why was i leaving i said i'm only here to challenge myself to see if i'm capable and now i think i am getting the insight and i'm i know where i still need to patch the man said okay no problem but please i still want you to continue as our developer i said how he said you can be working from home please the man said it that day please i said fine okay no problem sky college of ict is a great place to be as i'm speaking we have numerous international people that would be here i'm sure before the end year it runs out now international bureau is trying to make um international brewery branch in lagos in nigeria a beer tech garage where we can now provide solutions that will be used all over the world all over the world where we have international brewery they want to make nigeria a place where they will be, will be providing solutions to to the world the man called me sometimes back and said he would definitely need new minds to come on board because we are talking about tech garage it's not only about software here it's about hardware it's about different solution to boost their own products to any parents any individual that is thinking of learning a soft skill and you are looking at it that monetarily you are not yet capable apply at sqi scholarship program definitely you would see the one that suits you within a limited period of time you will definitely make it it is not about okay i'm already working i don't have time come to sq high they have mentors tell them your problem their problem solvers here it is not about solving technological problem it's about even solving your own personal problem here tell them what you are after tell them your current situation at sqi the solution is already there for them so i recommend sqi for anybody thinking of leveraging into into software development into hardware development multimedia networking anything come to sqi you would have it once again my name is mustafa abib software developer international bureau full stack developer revenge technology very soon product manager at one of the greatest fintech company of nigeria